General Reynolds is trying to position the rest of the defensive posture for the Union forces, again, outnumbered. And he goes out to give orders. But in the battle, he's shot by a Confederate sniper and is, is literally killed off his saddle. General John Robinson takes command on the ground. Howard is still in the seminary and they're, they're trying to figure out what the defensive posture is going to be with the guys who are not coming in. And sending orders out to the, to the groups that are on the north and west side of Gettysburg. Get back through the town, get up on the ridge. The only unit sent forward to stop the Confederates this is the 16th Maine. Charlie Tillman gets the orders from General John Robinson. Take your men, go out to the Mummersburg Road and set up a defensive position. Hold out as long as you can. To slow the Confederate advance and allow the Union Army to gain the high ground above the town, the 16th Maine is ordered to set up a precarious defensive position against impossible odds. Scarcely more than 250 soldiers trying to stop more than 3,000. Yet slow the rebels down they do, but at enormous cost. The 16th Maine becomes, in effect, a suicide unit. They are sacrificed so that the rest of the Union troops can get to the higher ground. And the regimental flag has been torn to shreds rather than let it be captured. By nightfall, fewer than 20 men rallied to a call for the 16th. 